Welcome to a video on procedural generation in Twine. This video is an extended example of doing history generation using story.get and combinations of breaking a string into an array, getting those array, and chaining these across using the include macro in Sugarcube. Let's look at the presentation. So in this example, we start with year zero. We generate a ruler, their gender, how long they ruled, and how their rate ended based on some simple rules. And as we see here, starting at year zero, year zero to six, we have nearly a thousand years of history here. Now it's not terribly complex because again, we're just looking at the ruler, their gender, how long they reigned and how their reign ended. But this is a good start of potentially creating future complex rules. So as we see, we start with king, ruled, reigned, queen, 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 king, and as we see going right on down this page for almost a thousand years of history. All sort of randomly generated but based on rules that we came up with. Let's go look at the story map. So the story map view here, we see we have six passages. The first of which is year zero. We see this example and we see a for loop of 30 loops here and we're including simple history. When it's done, we're looking at current year minus current year plus reign, title, random royal name, pronoun, reign, possessive pronoun, random reign event, which is all that we talked about we're generating. A ruler, their gender, how long they ruled, how their reign ended based on some simple rules. So we ran 30 loops of including simple history. Let's go look at simple history. Simple history is using the silently macro to disregard all possible output. We're setting title to either king or queen. So each loop is going to be king or queen. There's the simple rules there. If it's a king, set the pronoun to he or they. The pronoun is he, possessive pronoun is his, else possessive pronoun is there. Same with she, they, or either she or her, or their, they and their. Then we're checking to see if the current year exists yet. This right here is a little extra JavaScript that was thrown in. It's because this keeps getting looped over and over again. We want to check to see if current year already exists. If it already exists, that means we're already into our looping. If it doesn't exist, we're going to go ahead and set it to zero. So our very first loop through this, current year is zero. Otherwise, we just keep increasing current year by whatever the current reign year was. And so as we saw, zero to six, six to 38, 38 to 68, and onwards. Finally, we're setting the reign to a random number between 2 and 70. That's what we saw, reign for 6 years, 32, 30, 36. 70 being based on a number I, I, I picked at random here from between 2 to 70. They were including two other passages, royal name generation and reign event generation. Let's look at royal name generation. Royal name generation is again using the silently macro just like the previous passage to disregard all output here. Setting a temporary variable passage contents to story get royal names, getting the content of that, getting the text of that passage, splitting that from strings into an array, then getting random syllables of one to three, using the pluck function to choose one and then decrease that array down by one, however, whatever one we picked. So we have new ones each time. Running a random loop of random syllables, so one to three, picking a random entry from zero to split contents length, so for the whole length of the array. So we have an initial one, and then we add either one to three on this, setting royal random, uh, random royal name uh, to random royal name plus pluck. So again, getting unique entries every time, concatenating them on. And as we saw, a whole bunch of different names here. Let's stop and go look at royal names. Royal names is just a number of combinations of possible vowels and consonants in English based on a bunch of different royal names that was pulled from Wikipedia. <laughs> so our royal names is a bunch of different possible names chopped up into syllables. Our royal name generation chooses one, then chooses another unique one and concatenates them one to three, building unique names. Then, we're using a little bit of string manipulation here to replace the first letter with uppercase. So, 
As you notice, all of the all of the syllables and consonant and vowels combinations were all lowercase. We go ahead and flip the first letter to uppercase. So using royal name generation, we get a royal name, we build a royal name, and then we set random royal name at the end of this to be whatever name we just generated. The other thing that was being included from simple history is rain event generation. Rain event generation acts similar to royal name generation in that we get a passage object representing rain event. We get its text. We split its text from strings into an array. We get a random entry and we set a random entry to random rain event. As we saw here in simple history, we create pronouns. We check and we check if current year has been if current year exists yet. If it does, we update it. If it doesn't, we set it to zero. We set a random rain from two to seven. We get a royal name and we get a rain event. Coming back to year zero, we see all of that again. We include simple history. Simple history includes royal name generation and rain event. Each time those are set to current year, rain, title, random royal name pronoun, possessive pronoun, and random rain event. Each time getting up, each loop getting updated through 30 iterations of this. So using that, we can then create some very simple history generation. Creating titles, names, rain, possessive pronouns, and how the rain ended. Revolution, fire, famine, assassination, coup, famine, but we can build on these though by adding new rain events, new royal names, or introducing the same technique and additional things to compound this history generation. The te same technique though can be used to build additional complex stories in Twine. Using the same story get split the string into an array technique to build more complex procedural generation and possibly more complex history generation based on these same rules and using the same technique. The code for this example can be found in the YouTube description. It is a link out to the code as well as a link out to the proof copy of the same code for easier reading. Thanks for watching.